Welcome to Kansas, Ohio that is. This is a small town with a church, a grain elevator, a single stop sign, and a very special Farmall tractor. The uh, Farmall M that you see behind me, uh, my dad bought when he was 16 years old. And he always had a joke with my mom that next to my mother, the tractor was the oldest thing he had on the farm. So uh, that tractor is a 1947. I remember uh, it's sitting in the corner of our barn for probably oh, 20 years, I suppose. I don't know as much of the family history as my dad does, of course, because when I was a kid, this poor thing was in the corner of the barn um, in pieces. It didn't run. Uh, it looked pretty terrible. And uh, so for the first, gosh, probably 25 years of my life, that's where it sat. I never heard it run. Father and son David and Tyler Hawk still run the family farm together in Northwest Ohio. And they also teamed up to bring this Farmall M back to life. We would have never had the thought to get rid of it just because it was grandpa's first purchase. And we like old classic tractors. I think it was in 2009, year after my dad died, after we got done uh, harvesting, we hooked on to it. The tires were pretty much flat. As uh, Tyler and I uh, got the tractor out of the corner of the barn and uh, up on the uh, shop floor, it was really rewarding him and I um, working at tearing some things apart together. I don't have an owner's manual for it. Trying to make sure we knew how every bolt went back together was a little challenging, but thank God for things like YouTube and Google because uh, those Farmall enthusiasts out there have really paved the way to help people who don't know a lot about this thing keep them preserved. This tractor has always uh, been here on the farm. It's always been like, a, if you will, a part of the family. So, uh, that's why it meant so much for me when Tyler wanted to get it out of the corner of the barn and get it running. Getting that thing running and hearing that sound again just brought back so many good memories. And then also it was just a neat experience having my son kind of take the initiative and in wanting to get uh, grandpa's tractor running again. I think any time a father and son can have a project like this, blessed enough to have a project like this, something that you can keep around and, and look at and be proud of, that's a, that's a special thing. With a four-cylinder engine that delivered 25 horsepower at the drawbar, the Farmall M was the biggest row crop tractor in the International Harvester lineup back in the 1940s. And on the Hawk Farm, the M was relied on for all kinds of field work. Grandpa Hawk always farmed with horses, like, like everybody did back then. And then uh, Dad bought the uh, M, and it just took a lot of workload off of you. Now you got that tractor instead of being out there with the horses. The Farm All M, when it came out, it was, it, was, uh, it was a real workhorse of a tractor. If you had one, I mean, you know, you were on top of your game. Back then, though, I didn't think it was so great. Being out there on a 90 degree day, cultivating corn with a four row mounted cultivator. You know, here I am like uh, 12, 13 years old now, cultivating, and you're about ready to fall asleep. And with that narrow front end on that M, if you hit a rock, that wheel goes like this. And if you got your hands up here, and if you're, not, if you're not careful, that will just about break your knuckles. I never saw this tractor, you know, in motion. I never saw it do any field work. So I kind of wonder how that would be with no power steering and uh, getting your hands caught up in that steering wheel. I'm sure it was a task. I can appreciate that. And here I am just driving it around for fun up and down the road. Well, honestly, I don't get on it that much anymore. My son, he's the one that loves running around. He'll drive it up and down the road just for a Sunday drive. Yeah, there's just something about hopping on an old farm mall and 
letting the breeze run through your hair out here in Kansas there's not much going on it's a very rural town and uh, so you're not gonna get a car passing you by on a barely one and a half lane road out here so it's nice to put it in the high gear and you know just enjoy God's beautiful scenery no doubt the farm all M is a family favorite but the Hawks case of classic tractor fever now includes all kinds. I always get joked around or kidded around about uh, what kind of tractors do you farm with. And, you know, my comment is, I guess we're like Jesus. We love them all. We have the Farm All M. I'll never get rid of that. Uh, we have too many Apples Molines. We have the uh, Oliver 1650, and then I bought the John Deere 4440, which if my dad was alive today, he would probably give me a lot, a lot of flack for buying a John Deere. We have this Farm All M. We got a project Farm All H in the barn, and dad and I did an Oliver 1650, so plenty of classic tractor fever in these veins. The jackets that you see uh, Tyler and I are wearing I uh, purchased those down at the Ohio Cattlemen's, the Beef Expo down in Columbus, Ohio. Anyway, yeah, they look at our jacket, probably the diehard green guys or the diehard red guys that bleed red, you know, or green. They probably wonder about it, but I just got the, uh, the first tractor we had on the farm and now the newest tractor we have on the farm. And they, they, they both do the job, so. Over the years he farmed with it, David's dad had the Farmall M painted several times, always wanting to keep it looking good. And if he could see it today, David and Tyler have an idea what his feelings might be. If he were to see it now, you know, I, he would be overjoyed. He was kind of goofy, so he would make a joke here and there, and he had a good sense of humor about him, so um, he'd be thrilled, obviously, to see it this way. I tell you what, if my dad was here today, and I know he's probably here in spirit with us, dad would be proud. He would really, really be proud because he had made the comment probably six, seven months before he passed away that he was looking forward to Tyler eventually uh, taking over the family farm. I just have a huge appreciation for everything that grandpa built because I'm standing on this ground here today and lucky enough to be in this place that that he paved that way, and I would be hopeful that I could leave a legacy like that someday. Whenever I look at that farm all I am, I can still, uh, I look back and see my dad as, as I was a little kid, you know, uh, growing up with him. Uh, I can see dad out there, you know, cultivating with it, mowing hay with it. I can still see dad's big smile. I miss him dearly, keeps the memories alive. Hey there, thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. If you'd like to see more red power, be sure to check out these other classic stories. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep those classic tractor stories rolling.